Now take off the whole wall piece. Look at that. You got the drilling. Why are they drilling on a freaking Sunday? Yeah, I gotta get a little bit lower for this one. Gotta get more personal. Really small set, so yeah, I can do smaller set reviews and get them out to you faster. So what is up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty. First of all, thank you so much for ordering on BrickMeUpScotty.com. You guys are going crazy now. It's like every day we got multiple, multiple orders and I'm in the office sending some of them out. Our supplier in China is also sending them out. We're trying to get them to you guys. I know you have to stay at home. Self-isolation. Do a lot of building. Stay safe, please. I'm praying and thinking about all you guys. And anyway, a quick announcement for the website. Shipping costs have changed. Prices of the sets haven't changed. I think most of them haven't changed. Some sets might not be available depending on size. So the most important thing right now, if you're ordering from the store, is the shipping has completely changed and we have no control right now because of all the airlines being shut down. We have to do different couriers or different routes so prices might be a lot higher. Just email us, we'll try to work things out. If not, just wait patiently. I don't know how long you have to wait though. But definitely the store is still open, so thank you so much. Anyway, enough of that, let's look at this. It's a really small review. Time to jump into the assemble block. Assemble block time. Assemble block. You know how they are. Let's look right into it. So this is symbol blocks. You know what? They never named these things. Come on, symbol. What do I call it on my website? Home apartment interior. Half of a home. Quarter, not even a real home. What a weird set. Anyway, 601, 501, 310 pieces. There is the manual and the proof that there is no name on this thing. Manual is actually really small. Super easy to read, as you can see. Yeah. If you have not seen the home interior sets I have done before, I'll put a link in the description and I'll probably put something up here. Go check them out. They're little dioramas of little rooms and I actually really love those. This one is kind of like a bigger version of it. I'm not quite sure what to think. You guys let me know what you think because in some ways it's kind of cool what they're doing. It's original, it's fresh. And I like the fact that it's another type of furnishing thing. So you could possibly use this set as a mock inside your building or get some inspiration and kind of build around it because there's some cool things in here and the colors is a little bit all over the place you do have some figures that come with it and we'll pull them aside like that move out of the way the shape is so bizarre it's a really weird shape right it's like not a square it kind of sticks out you almost have like this balcony looking thing a lot of you have already bought symbol block from me so you if you bought it already you kind of know what to expect so clutch is fine everything is fine build is actually pretty okay on this so this is the front here, it's very simple. The living room and the bedroom, that's it. I'll spin it to the side here. Oh, that actually looks kind of cool like that. I do like how the balcony hangs out. A little bit of a gap underneath there, but structurally, it's pretty well. Oh no, it's gonna pop, it will pop off, but you know, I'm being I'm being violent with my sets. You know how I am. I'm always fine. If you wanna take it off, you can just be like that and be like, okay. That's what it would look like if you didn't want that little balcony piece on there. But yeah, okay, so the balcony piece is a little bit Flimsy. Well, that's good to know. You can separate that piece if you wanted to. First thing I like about the set is that it's all tiles. Yay! Thank you for tiling the whole thing. They didn't go with the tiles. This thing would have been even more cheaper looking. But the colors, it's kind of like I said, it's all over the place, right? Okay, let's just start on the bottom floor first. So right here, you got a nice looking table. Simple table, simple sofa. A long one and a short one. This one actually kind of does recline a little bit. <laughs> Chill back. Those are stickers. Lots of stickers on the set again. Got a tree tucked underneath the staircase there. And there's a cabinet next to the tree. Let's see if I can pull this out. Can I pull it out? I'll try to pull it out. Oh, it's gonna suck trying to put it back in there. Yeah, here we go. So here's the back cabinet. Only a couple stickers on there. Pretty simple stuff. Nothing underneath because it's blocked by the sofa. Oh, they could have made like a more functional style looking one, but okay. It's a cheap set, man. For sure they could have done more with that back cabinet. Yeah, it would have been nicer to have like brick bookshelf there or something, you know? They could have done it. They got this little drawer right here, no television. Surprisingly, a musician must live in this house. And a record player on top. Or is that a turntable for the DJs? The DJ's music house is a studio? Who knows? But there you go, you get a little record on there with a sticker that says rock and roll. And the dial there is also a sticker. Tiny, tiny, small sticker. All right, the drawers don't open. It's interesting, very simple here. It's nice for a change that it's not like a TV stand that, you know, would have probably been plain and boring. That is another sticker on the background. Unless that's a TV behind there. That's kind of a nice sticker though. It's very soothing. Hillside, peaceful, 
Maybe you can make a little stop motion of Parasite using this section of the house. You guys like that film? Now on the back, they do use these like really big panels. I've never seen those before. They have studs built into them, which is interesting. You know, I don't think I've come across them before. Could they have done this more brick styled wall? Probably would have looked a little bit more bricky and better to me. I just find that when they use these panel pieces, they're kind of like cheating or minimizing not to use more bricks or also be more pieces and cost more, I guess. But I kind of would still like to have just been more brick built, more bricky looking house. But that's just me. I guess this is more of a modern style looking futuristic home. Got a potion on that table. Who knows what it's for? Then you come up these little, actually you come up these huge steps. There's a little balcony here, which you saw me push down earlier. It is solid if you're like kind of going like that. I do like the little see-through panels there. It makes it look a little nice. And they have a little doggy house there. When I first saw that family photo, I'm like, what kind of an animal is that? That can't be a dog, it's not a cat. It's gotta be like a seal or something. And then yeah, you see the dog house and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that's definitely a dog then. It's just the angle of the photo being straight on. Looks like a seal, man. But okay, so you got this little doggy bow that is locked down on that stud right there. And you have the doggy inside. Kind of a weird place to put a little dog house. It's stickers on the top, by the way. And that color again. The colors, I'm just not sure if I'm really, really liking. I think it's just some of the objects. Some of the colors, okay. But it's right next to the staircase. So you come up this staircase, go up to the second floor, and there's not much there bed with a loose pillow piece there, stickers on the bed, and a guitar stand. That is the weirdest place to put a guitar stand. You got this little lamp up here. I don't like the color of this lamp and also this one that's kind of hanging off the wall here. This orange looking lamp, yeah, it looks very retro, right? Like it was made in the 70s to look futuristic, if you know what I'm talking about. And the light on top too, the orange or red, it's like a heat lamp. It's just, you know, they should have taken those two away and had like more transparent bricks in the walls to make it look like modern, nice lighting. Kind of weird looking to me. I don't know. Do you like the guitar? You know, the guitar looks so good. If you buy the set, you might just buy it just for the guitar. Pillow for the bed is one of those sandbags that they use the military sets. And here's like a top down view of the set itself. There's the bed and a tile there with the music, like a record on a nightstand, a small little nightstand. There's nothing in the drawer. Now, this is actually pretty funny on the sticker right here, right? If you look at the text, it says Lorem Ipsum. That is not a mistake. If you're a designer, you probably have a big grin on your face right now. That text is actually just like a reference tool for your text. It's like a default stock picture, I guess. Well, whoever made the sticker, you're fired. And that's pretty much it, man. Very small room. So, you know, the guy's probably like hanging out up here and the lady's probably hanging down here on the balcony area. So what do you guys think? Is this too weird, too bizarre for you? Personally, for someone who doesn't do mocks or doesn't do their own creations, this is kind of cool in a way where I may like insert this or take parts out and put it into a building itself so it could be like a little small room area for one of my empty modulars like Mr. Sunshine Hotel from Oxford Block. Remember that empty thing? I can turn that into like so many things with all these little sets that I've been getting anyway. There's a couple of windows here, there, and on this side as well, one window. So you do have a couple of windows. It's very open, so you know, totally playable. In fact, if I do a drop test on this one, it should survive pretty good. If I go one, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. Oh, just a wall came off. Yeah, you're fine with this one. I know you guys missed the drop test. I'm sure you do. Now, when you're building it, it's just a small build. It does get a little bit flimsy here until you put the pieces together. But yeah, you don't want to press down too hard on here. It'll probably collapse because there's nothing supporting it underneath. The colors of the set, I don't mind the brown. I don't mind even mind like the yellow pieces. I think it's just like the staircase color, the individual pieces in here, the, the blue. It, it kind of makes it a little bit too like colorful. And the back wall doesn't really go with it. This is like something I would design because I'm not an interior designer. I'd be like, yeah, that's cool, man. I like it. I like the colors on. Yeah. Let's look at the minifigures. So Simple Blocks minifigures are getting better. I like this guy's outfit, his sweater. That's like really cool. I like the printing on it. At least it's different, but his face, his hair, is typical of other minifigures. And he does have a small amount of printing on the back side there, but he looks really happy. And I guess he's the musician. He's gonna pick up the guitar and play. Now this lady here could be his girlfriend or his wife. And she's got quite a body there, yeah? Wearing a pearl necklace. Got some little snowflake printing on her outfit as well. Wearing some glasses. There's also a little bit of printing on the back. 
So the print on her, she looks totally fine. I like her glasses, all happy. Nice little couple. Let's look at the seal, I mean dog. They should have just made this a seal, man, when you look at the face like that. The eyebrows, it's killing me, man. But when you see it on the side, for sure, you know it's like a poodle or something. But yeah, no. Okay, one thing that is really nice is that you can actually just take all the furniture out. You know, some sets actually build in the table or the cabinet to the wall. This set, you can practically take everything out. Here's a shot of everything out of the house. Now you can do whatever you want to it or change the house colors and, you know, have fun with the set. Might as well. That mission times again with the broken base plate. Here we go. Okay, so for the length here, I'm gonna stop at the balcony. I won't pass the balcony, just so you guys know that's about 20 studs in length. It's about 25 if you include the whole balcony here. You might not want the balcony. So if you don't want the balcony, just be like, oh, let's just, you know, take the whole thing off. There you go. That's 20 studs right there. That's nice and convenient. It's like a modular balcony. Modular. There we go, back on here. Okay, on the side here, it is 16 studs by width. And there you go. Now let's check the height. Break out your one by four bricks. Here are mine. Let's stack this up here. Oh, look, it's just over. That is 13 bricks in height. So there you go. Yeah, take down the walls, remodify this yourself, change the colors a little bit, add more things in there. Have some fun with this set, all right? There's your dimensions. Bye-bye, lady. Bye-bye. So there you guys go. Assemble blocks, whatever you want to call this interior. It's available on BreakMeUpScotty.com. Thank you guys so much for your support and watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more. I promise you, I'm about to shoot more right now. So let's get more videos out for you guys. Thank you so much for hanging in there. And until next time, you guys, break me out. The Harry Potter with a seal. That is the most bizarre thing ever. Okay, cool. Oh, I knocked over lady again. I'm always knocking over lady. I'm upset. I'll be a little bit lower for this one. The set is so small. Small set review today. At least I can get these out to you guys. All right, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Break Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty. Oh, excuse me. Don't mind my hair either. Social distancing haircut. I had to cut my hair, man. Look at that. Oh, like totally different on that side, totally different on that side. It's all good, man. It's just hair. It's not like I have any. It'll grow back later, maybe. Who knows? Ha.